After a 112-year absence from the Olympic Games, golf is now back on the agenda and while many of the game's top stars are said to miss the first Lynx Olympics tournament in over a century for various reasons, one woman who wants to stay on course to make history is the Chinese 2012 LPGA champion Feng Shang Shang. Uh, I think it would be great if any of us can maybe capture a medal um, since you know it's uh, the first time that golf is back in the Olympics after over 100 years. Um, I mean we're playing with the same competi competitors that we play with every, every week so we know each other very well. We know that we do have chances. Um, I think what we need to do is just to stay patient and you know stick on our routines and uh, bring out our A-games and hope that we can have good results at the end. During a tournament in Shandong on July the 3rd, Feng struggled but managed to put in a steady performance in the last round to finish one stroke away from the lead. This Olympic golf tournament hasn't strayed away from controversy with 14 top players including Jason Day, Rory McIlroy and Adam Scott all quitting over Zika virus fears. For fans and players, this isn't the pinnacle for the sport, but Feng still regards it extremely highly. Well, when they announced, um, like 2009, that you know golf would be will be in the Rio Olympics, um, it has been my my goal maybe for like seven years already, and I always wanted to you know be in the field first, and uh, now it's mission completed because now I'm in the field, and um, you know um, I don't think there's anything that can stop me from going because I mean um, I've been waited for so long and uh, I'm really really looking forward to, to go. Off the course Feng Shan Shan is no different to any other young girl. She likes vivid colour outfits and is a huge lover of Dalmatians whose colourful spots match her fashion styles. But the 26 year old likes to think of herself as mature. Having started to compete age 10 she has risen to the world ranking of 6th with 14 major titles to her name. Well, it was. I think it was when I was at 12. I won a junior tournament, and then um, I had my maybe first interview in my life. <laughs> and then people asked me like, "Oh, so what is your goal in the future?" And I was like, mm, "I think I want to be on the LPGA." Yeah, that's that's when so I said it. Yes. It won't be an easy task to win that first medal in Rio, but nothing has ever been easy for the once 10-year-old dreamer from Guangzhou.